Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs. Extended hours this weekend at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. Whether you want your home decorated for the holidays or maybe this is your business, you give them a call or go to the website liholidaylighting.com. Omni True Value Hardware is our other sponsor at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And their phone number is 631-756-1125. They have tons of rock salt and the best prices anywhere in the New York City tri-state area uh, and beyond. Uh, not just rock salt, but anything you need to get you through this upcoming winter. The website is omnitruevalue.com. I'm going to start with a close-up satellite loop of the northeast, and uh, we're starting to see warmer air coming in from the west, and it usually arrives aloft before it arrives down at the bottom of the atmosphere. So those clouds are representing that warmer air pushing on through, uh, and there's not a whole lot when it comes to precip, however, uh, when we take a look at what's on the radar. This was from earlier, by the way, uh, when we had uh, some uh, streamers up uh, in into the north. Uh, this is actually from yesterday and last night, uh, but that's all gone now. And now what you're seeing here in the precip aloft, uh, that is in response to some of that warmer air moving eastward. None of what's uh, showing up in Pennsylvania and upstate New York is reaching the ground, and nor do we expect it to. In the meantime, we're starting to see the moisture gathering from the next cold front that runs from the Great Lakes west southwestward across Iowa and into Nebraska and Colorado as that weather system pushes on to the east. And for a change, there's no precip going on right now in the Pacific Northwest. So it appears that Sunday night into Monday morning is going to be probably. Uh, the one time this week, there might be another shot on Friday for a few showers. Both of those systems are not going to really produce very much. And it's interesting how what's happened in the east from what the models were doing about a week ago to what we're seeing now. Uh, the uh, blocking pattern in the Atlantic is actually forming further southeast of where it was initially being indicated. And that has actually pretty much changed the profile of what we can expect for the week ahead. And it's going to uh, be okay. If you're traveling, it's not going to be a big problem. Uh, and much of the weather around the country, save for a few odd spots, uh, is going to be relatively tame. There's no major storms around, in spite of what uh, some of the mainstream media might have been telling you all of last week. So you can see our rainfall amounts here, uh, talking about mainly a quarter of an inch or less, maybe a little bit more as you go into eastern New England, uh, and then down into the southeast, not a whole lot of precip uh, showing up, uh, mostly on the order of uh, a quarter of an inch or less, and in some cases, no precip at all, a little bit wet uh, from, the, from Tennessee south and west into coastal Texas, and also revving up again in the Pacific Northwest. There really is going to be a relative absence of, of winter storms around the country uh, for uh, this coming week. So let's take a look at how this is all going to play out as far as the day-to-day -day is concerned. I am not uh, particularly worried uh, about uh, much of anything, even the wind. We were really kind of emphasizing the fact that maybe wind was going to be the bigger issue uh, going forward for this coming week, uh, that it would be strong and gusty at times, not anything crazy, but just you know maybe on certain days we'd see some gusts past 30 to 40 miles an hour. I don't even think we're going to see that. So in the meantime, take a look at uh, the uh, the new GFS, which is just starting out now. And you can see for overnight, doesn't really do very much. This is Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. You still have precip way back in uh, western Pennsylvania, back into Ohio. Uh, you start to see a little bit of that coming in tomorrow evening. So I think for the most part through sunset tomorrow, it's just going to be fine. Uh, clouds will be increasing and thickening up. But we won't see any rain coming in until sometime later tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Then by Monday morning, the back edge of the cold front is running from central Massachusetts to New York City to about Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. It's a little slower on this run than on prior runs. But right after that, it's all gone and moved on off the East Coast. Still some leftover showers Monday down uh, in the uh, Carolinas. 
and uh, that uh, will also bring in, you'll start to bring in colder air behind this front. So we're looking at temperatures tomorrow mostly in the 50s. Monday's temperatures probably will be left over from overnight Sunday night into Monday morning until the front passes. So you're going to go from 50s and then probably see temperatures ease down into the 40s as we uh, take a, a jump ahead Monday night and Tuesday. Monday night, from eastern Virginia to, to from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down to northern Virginia, we're going to be looking at lows down in the mid 20s to low 30s, and then on Tuesday we'll have sunshine. It will be uh, breezy. There'll be a gusty wind, manageable and annoying, but it won't be much beyond that. Maybe some gusts of 20, 25, or even 30 miles an hour tops, and temperatures Tuesday barely into the low 40s for highs. We'll have some sunshine. Wednesday looks like a nice day, mid to upper 40s with sunshine. And Thanksgiving, I think we're going to be back up to 50 to 55 with sunshine pretty much all day. Here comes another cold front for Friday. Uh, that moves on through with a few showers. And then a much colder air mass will build in for later Friday and then for next Saturday and next Sunday. So if you're coming back from the Thanksgiving Day holiday, you'll notice uh, weather uh, throughout much of the country over next weekend, unless there's a surprise magical storm that shows up, uh, it it does look like it's going to be relatively tame and uneventful. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. And 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. Uh, the telephone number there, 631-957-5106. And the website is LIHolidayLighting.com. Uh, li the uh, Joe and Joe Weather Show will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so we hope to see you then. We're going to be talking about the long range, and because this block has kind of changed in terms of its character and where it's forming, uh, it's pretty much also changed what we see in the longer range going into the month of December. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that. If you're on my weather platform on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee, uh, I have already put in a, uh, let's call it a primer or a primer post uh, that uh, gets into all of this, and uh, you'll be well prepared and have all the background uh, when we talk about this tomorrow on the uh, Joe and Joe Weather Show. This is the NAO, by the way, the North Atlantic Oscillation, and it's forecast now to go rather strongly positive for the first days in December. So that kind of changes uh, the view, uh, our view of the long range. So we'll, again, we'll talk about this tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So we hope to see you then.